This is a $400 million machine. One of the most complex pieces of technology ever created by humans. And it's the white hot center of the global tech war. Without it, companies like Apple, Nvidia, TSMC cease to exist. So why is a company that makes the machines, ASML, down over 30% from its all-time highs. Wall Street is panicking and investors are walking away, but I believe they are making a historic mistake. That's why ASML is becoming one of my biggest holdings. This isn't just another stock analysis. This is a story of the most powerful monopoly on earth and why its current price represents one of the biggest opportunities in the market today. So what exactly is the monopoly I'm talking about? How did one Dutch company become the sole leader for the entire digital world? It all comes down to one process, lithography. For decades, companies printed circuit designs onto silicone wafers using lights, but they hit a physical wall. The designs for modern chips became so significantly small that they were smaller than wavelengths of light itself. It's like trying to paint a portrait on a grain of rice with a paint roller. The problem seemed impossible. This is the problem that ASMO solved. They pioneered extreme ultraviolet or EUV lithography, a technology so complex it involves blasting a microscopic droplet of molten tin with a high-powered laser twice in a perfect vacuum to create a plasma that emits the exact light needed. They are the only company on earth that has mastered this. So how do you build a business around this? You don't just sell one product. You create an inescapable ecosystem. That $4 million price tag is not it. That's just a cover charge to get you in the club. This is a razor and blades business model on God mode. The world's only advanced chip foundries, giants like TSMC, Samsung, and Intel, buy the machine. And these foundries are the only places for companies like Apple, Nvidia, AMD, Qualcomm, can go to build their cutting edge chips. So if you own a new iPhone or a powerful GPU, its heart was forged inside of one of ASML's machines. The real gold mine is a multi-million dollar annual service contracts. The software that unlocks higher performance and the constant stream of upgrades needed to maintain one of these machines. And here's what sets ASML apart. Decades ago, while competitors spread themselves out across the entire chip making process, ASML made a single all-in bet on the patterning section of making chips. And now they dominate that entire industry. So let's examine the walls of this fortress, layer by layer. Because this isn't just one singular moat. It's a series of moats, each deeper and more punishing to go through. The first wall is built on the laws of physics. ASML is the only company on earth to have conquered EUV light. This isn't a temporary business advantage. It's a decade long head start. While state-backed competitors are burning billions, they are still trying to crack the puzzle that ASML solved years ago. Technology can eventually be copied, right? Well, that's where the next layer comes in, an unbreakable web of secrets. This is more than thousands of patents. It's exclusive multi-decade alliances with irreplaceable partners, like the German optics genius Carl Zies, who crafts lens with precision equivalent to finding a single fingerprint on the entire West Coast. To rebuild this network, you need more than just money. You need a time machine. And once the customer is inside the walls, this is what I call the golden prison. Chip factories costing tens of billions of dollars literally craft their factories around these ASML machines. The layout, the software, the workflow, you can't just switch to a different provider. You would have to bulldoze these multi-billion dollar factories and start over. This leads to the ultimate power, a power only a few companies in history have ever owned, the ability to name their own price. ASML doesn't check when the market will bear. They state the price and align to the world's most powerful companies forms with cash ready in hand. When you see all these layers together, you understand how powerful of a moat this company has. When other competitors diversified, ASML stuck to one singular section and dominated it. Now no one will ever catch up. And now the entire world is in a desperate race to build new chip fabs for the AI revolution. And what company profits from every single AI chip being made? The company that owns a bottleneck. This isn't just a picks and shovel play. ASML is selling the only blueprint to shovels during a global gold rush. So if ASML is truly this unstoppable force, why on earth are they down over 30% from all-time highs? The reason why ASML has dipped has nothing to do with the foundation itself. One of the main reasons is the China narrative. This is perhaps the biggest scare tactic. Yes, geopolitical tensions and US export controls sound terrifying. ASML's most advanced EUV machines are indeed restricted from China. But here's the kicker. These machines were already largely out of reach for Chinese foundries, given their existing technology gap. 
China's demand for ASML is predominantly for older generation DUV machines, which are largely unaffected by the current restriction. Furthermore, while China is a market, it is not the entire market. When you zoom out, their overall revenue contribution especially from the most advanced restricted tech is a smaller piece of a very large pie. This isn't a moral blow, it's a nuanced adjustment. And then the chip industry has always been cyclical. There are boom times when everyone is scrambling for chips and then there are slower times, inventory corrections and slight demand dips. We were in one of those slower periods, but here's the critical insight. These cycles are temporary. The long-term trajectory of chip demand driven by AI, the internet of things, cloud computing, and electrification is unequivocally up. This isn't a structural decline. It's just the natural ebbs and flows of a growth industry. ASML is simply riding the waves. They're not sinking with the ship. So when you see 30% drawbacks, don't see weakness, see opportunity. And just when you thought ASML had it figured out, the market threw another curveball. Quarter two, Victor year 2025 earnings report. If you only looked at the stock price and the headlines, you would have thought this company was going down the drain. Words like catastrophic, critical growth warning, and forecast slashed screamed from every financial news outlet. But here's the reality of their earnings report. Revenue was just about $9 billion, which was the top end of their guidance. Gross margin hit a stunning 53.7%, which beat expectations. Net income came in at $2.7 billion. EPS came in at $6.94, comfortably beating expectations. Install base revenue came in at $2.46 billion. And then cash on hand came in at $8.46 billion. On paper, this is not just a good earnings report. It was a demonstration of operational excellence, especially considering the broader economic conditions. So where is the catastrophe that was talked about in headlines? Well, it all boiled down to a single statement the CEO said. We're still preparing for growth in 2026, but we cannot confirm it at this stage due to macro and geopolitical uncertainty. That's it. That one statement. An honest acknowledgement of the global conditions that any honest CEO would say. This statement was distorted and weaponized against ASML. And all of a sudden, it triggered a 10% drop in the stock price. This wasn't a warning signal to ASML's business. This was the market's irrational fear, amplifying every whisper of tariffs, any fear with AI chips, and every fleeting headline. The headline screamed, tariffs are biting, CEO walks back forecast, they painted this poor picture of what actually happened. When you have news like this, markets overreacting, Yet nothing fundamentally changed inside the company. It just becomes an even better time to buy. And I've been buying a lot since this drop. So while the stock has been dropping, ASML's leadership is doing something far more rational. They're buying back their own stock. In quarter two alone, they bought back $106 billion worth of shares. And guess what? This recent drop, I'm sure they're buying even more, which is only making my shares and your shares far more valuable. This is a clear signal from the people that know their business inside and out. They believe their stock is undervalued and they're putting their money where their mouth is. And this isn't just a one-off event. ASML operates under a massive multi-year share buyback program. They are returning billions to their shareholders. They have the financial power to do this because their balance sheet is a fortress of cash. Like I said, as of quarter two, they have $8.46 billion of cash on hand. So where do I think this company will be five years down the road? Using analyst consensus growth rates for EPS and a modest PE ratio that ASML will trade at, I think from today's price, we can see a 26% growth rate year over year. I think this company is incredibly undervalued at today's price. I was buying when it was in the 800s, and after the drop, I'm still buying today. Opportunities to buy companies like ASML with the amount of power they hold at the current discount is incredibly rare. This isn't just another stock to me. This is a company that holds the keys to the future of technology. They are the sole gatekeeper for the entire digital world. We've peeled back exactly what makes their moat so incredibly strong and the numbers back it up. ASML isn't a flashy company, but they are a company that dominates one part of the industry and no one is even close to catching up with them. I continue to buy ASML every week and pretty soon it's going to be my largest position. This is one of my highest conviction bets over the next decade. Now after hearing my deep dive, on ASML. I want to hear your thoughts. Do you own ASML? Are you buying it? Do you think the short-term hate is deserved? Or like I said, completely blown out of the water? If you want to learn about another stock I have incredibly high conviction for, watch the video I put on screen.